Welcome. In this video I'm going to talk about replacing the water filter on my GE fridge with an RPWF filter and it currently has an RPWF e-filter and the E means it has a RFID chip on it. So the first thing I need to do is take this out. So to, to remove these you pull it out, I don't know, it's probably almost 45 degrees and then I like to grip it with my whole hand and just pull straight out. You don't want to twist it. If you twist it, bad things are going to happen. So this is the RFID right here. So I'm going to take this down to my shop and we'll remove it. Okay, so these are the filters I'll be replacing it with. It's the AquaCrest. I got these on Amazon and I'll put a link in the description to these. And if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. And this is what that filter looks like. So it's an identical filter, but it doesn't have that RFID tag on it. Interestingly, I also have a second tag here for security. So I'm going to try and peel this off first. I'm going to heat it up with a heat gun. It's just a pencil heat gun. You could probably also use a hair dryer. Okay, so I took the label off and this is connected to the case now, so I'll need to remove it. We'll get a closer look at it here. So I'm going to make some measurements and some marks. I'm going to draw out the orientation of it in case I forget. It's pretty easy to figure out and I'm recording a video. So I'll do some measurements also. So the filter seems to be in line. If you're holding it this way, it's right in the middle. So I set this down on a surface like this and I had eight and nine and a half centimeters. So to remove this, the first thing I'm going to try is this pole saw. You could also use a Dremel or a regular saw. There's a lot of different things you could try. And I'll just, I don't know, I'll probably leave some margin here. Seems to be some very thick plastic. Okay, I'm getting some water here. I'm going to go drain this out. Okay, I'll continue. I'll make sure to dry my saw off too in case it gets wet. Do the same thing on the other side. Okay. Now I need to figure out how to cut this direction. So that's gonna be a challenge. I'm going to try a utility knife and see if I can cut this. If you're not up on knife safety, you always want to work away from yourself. If I was cutting like this, that's a good way to slice your thumb open. But if you don't feel comfortable using a knife, definitely do not use a knife. So I'm kind of cutting diagonally here. I'm hoping to cut out a little V shape and then do another cut. Okay. Just slipped, did not cut myself, so that's good. I have the perfect tool to open this. It's the, like an oscillating tool where the blade just goes like that, but I loaned it out, so I don't have it right now. Now that chip may pop off there, but I don't want to risk damaging it. Although it won't look as pretty, you could drill a series of holes here to get rid of some of that plastic. I think that's what I'm going to do is drill some holes here. Just have my pistol grip drill here. I don't know if you can see, but that's pretty thick plastic. Now I'll try and go in here with my side cutters and cut this plastic. Okay, got it free. You can see the carbon in there. It's pretty solid. It does look like this chip could peel off. I'll use my side cutters to clean this up a little bit.
I'm starting to think the filter might be the strongest part of this fridge. Okay, that's looking better. So now I'll get the new filter out. I'll get a piece of tape. And you could tape this to the fridge in the right spot. I'll, I'm just going to tape it to the filter for now. I was under pressure, that was interesting. So I had nine centimeters. It's kind of hard to show this on camera, but I'm going to set this up on a surface and put the ruler next to it like this and measure up to less the right height. Okay, that looks good. And I think I have that centered right. So I'm just gonna put a piece of tape over it. Like so. And now I'll go stick it back in the fridge and see if it works. Okay, so I'm back at the fridge. I'll take this and I'll press it in there. Okay, I got it over. I'll close that. Now I can try it. Yeah, that was bad. So that leads me to my next point is that you need to flush this. Uh, I think it's five gallons you need to run through it. So you can read the instructions with the filter tell you exactly how long. But with this style that's on the side of the inside of the fridge, I use a piece of 3 8 inch hose. I stick it up there and then I'll set a pitcher down below uh, to route this into. So I don't have to hold the pitcher right up there. It gives me a little more control. But yeah, that's why that splashed out and made a mess. So, so it seemed like this worked. You know, do this at your own risk. Um, another option is to put the bypass in here and then you can put a filtration system prior to the fridge. So like a whole house system where you can actually get inline filters. Another option is to pull the RFID off the bypass filter and attach it to your filter. So those are two different options. So that's all for this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.